Well, hello. Today I want to talk about um, a newer project. I have it in this case here. It's my uh, long scale six string soprano ukulele. And uh, the short of the story is years ago when I was in Kauai, I bought a soprano pineapple ukulele, you know, pineapple shape. And I liked it and played it and it was fun. And, uh, you know, over the years I've played around with it trying to you know, just do extra things, make a little more out of it, etc. And uh, then the other day, I just had the idea when I was talking to a couple friends of mine that I could customize it and get a longer scale on it and set it up for six strings, put uh, what's known as the Glalie strings on it, and uh, kind of set it up like a guitar in a way. Because, you know, you're always looking for the perfect little travel guitar uh, to take on trips and stuff like that and uh, for me I think I've found something that's pretty useful uh, it's pretty lightweight I could put it in a soft case if I want um, but this protects it and this is my little pineapple ukulele case and this is my little pineapple ukulele and uh, so I'll tell you how I built it and I think I can safely say, for the most part, I built it. Um, the only original part of this instrument are the sides. So this this uh, mahogany um, laminate uh, plywood side that is keeps the pineapple shape. That's original. Um, in the process, I put a different back on. It's a spalded maple back. And then um, the top is made out of uh, a Pacific Northwest white cedar. Um, it's grown here. It was one of my fence boards and actually uh, I uh, have been hauling uh, some wood back when I drove a truck uh, for a company and they had a stud mill and they made some cedar fence boards for me uh, specifically because I wanted some and I paid for them obviously. And, um, that's one of the boards so an instrument out of it and you can see there's some bug there have been some bugs in it so um, then I took a maple board and made it carved a neck out of it and I made it for six strings as you can see and let's see what else it's got an 18 inch scale so the normal scale length of a soprano ukulele is about 13 inches you can see I put the bridge at the very end uh, the tail of this instrument which um i would have never recommended anyone do that um, usually you want your bridge somewhere here because you want the flex of this uh, top to give you sound because your instrument the back and top work together like a bellows and they push air and that gives you better tone but the only way i was going to get an 18 inch scale length was to do that because I wanted to fit in the case, shorten the headstock. And so there we have it. It's an 18 inch scale length, six string soprano ukulele. Um, I can't think of anything particular to say. I'm using Aquila Red ukulele strings on it, as I often do when I use a ukulele string. What I have noticed about this, I'm gonna play it for you in just a little bit. What I have noticed about this instrument is uh, it's very sensitive. Most acoustic instruments, if you put them against your body, um, they deaden in tone a little bit because you, you actually muffle the vibration of the back. Um, it's not horribly noticeable for the most part. Um, this one, it is. I mean, well, it sounds good either way, to be honest with you. I can lean it against me and it's quieter and it's still soft and it sounds good. But if I hold it out a little bit, which is kind of the learning curve, it really sings. And, and it's because this, this back needs to be able to move a little bit more. Now, different uh, people have experimented with, and I probably will as well, of just putting a kind of a brace across the back that's, a, you know, uh, so it touches the sides, but it doesn't touch the back. And just a piece of, you know, wood that you could cut out and finish and stick on there and it went well, that way you never really touch the back to yourself and you get more volume and actually it's more tone than anything but uh and i i probably will uh 
the problem is I have to figure out how to make it removable or it will it likely will never fit in the case and that was the goal so if I do that that's what I'll have to do but uh, that's the whole shoot and match I just call it I don't know if you can see it in there it's a long scale six string ukulele I will say personally while I was building this you know I I just uh kept in my mind calling it my little worshiper and and what I mean by that is I use it everything I use it to worship the Lord Jesus Christ and and in the process I just kept asking him to guide me and help me figure this out and I think he did and I absolutely love the song, sound and I'm going to play that for you now and I'm going to play it unplugged uh, it does I did put uh, just a little transducer inside it with the plug-in um it's it reproduces sound it's not gorgeous it's good um but i i really wasn't planning on ever needing it uh, you know i think if i plugged it in and i eq'd it and played with it through a, a pedal or something uh it would be really great um just plugged straight into my rolling cube it sounds good it, it's pretty and it sounds nice um it doesn't reproduce its acoustic tones completely or anything like that. But uh, that's what we have. And so I'm going to play it. Uh, the The basis of the music I'm going to play is actually an old uh, song I called Communion Song uh, that I, I wrote in the 80s. Um, hardly ever sing it uh, anymore. But uh, the other day I was playing it on my guitar and... And I thought, oh, that, that has a nice sound. And then uh, it, it seems to fit this instrument very well. So uh, I'm going to just do an instrumental of communion song for you to so you can see what this sounds like. Hope you enjoy it. So that's it, completely unplugged, uh, just acoustically. Hope you enjoyed the video. Lord bless. Amen.